Hallo? Oh, is het Krampi? Krampi, Pan Panda hier. Yes, a safe trip. I just landed on the airport. Listen, man, I'm going to look for a taxi now. I think I will see you in about an hour. Hi, Pan. I'm glad you had a safe trip. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Taxi! Taxi! Driver, can you please take me to Pont de la Carte? Hi, Pan. Welcome back. Come in, come in. Grumpy, are you sure you want to go on this rescue mission? Well, you know me, Pan. I'm all for adventure. I mean, you are not married, I'm not married, we don't have family or children. Let's go and lend a helping hand. Who knows, they might still be alive. <coughs> Hello, Grumpy speaking. Oh, Major. Good evening, what can I do for you? Really? Who told you that I was going on a rescue mission? Pan Panda. Oh, did he just pop it quickly into the police station? Oh, I see. Do you, do you want us to come down now? Okay, we see you then first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, Major. Right. Bye. Well, guilty as charge. On my way here, I just heard Kitty King on Kitty King Live said something about there's a professor uh, that knows something or they think they know something. I don't know what's going on. So I just wanted to hear for myself. But they don't want to say anything. I'm telling you, Grumpy, they know more than they are prepared to tell us. Tomorrow morning, we must make sure we find out what's going on. Good evening, this is Kitty King Live, and I'm Kitty King. The scientist is still in the police station. The police are having serious discussions with him. It looks like they know something that they didn't want to tell us. Why keeping it a secret? And there's more news. Word has it that the two old adventurers, Pan Panda and Grumpy Duck, are going to organize a rescue mission to the floating islands of Pandora. Do they know something too that we don't know? We keep you posted. Hi guys, I'm Sergeant Brown and I'm a very good friend of Pan Panda and Grumpy Duck. Hi guys, I'm Major Clark and I work here with Sergeant Brown at the police station. I'm also a very good friend of Pan Panda and Grumpy Duck. Good morning Grumpy. Morning, Pan. Hi, you dude. Welcome to the station. Thanks for coming. Sergeant Brown, the stories about the scientists that was here and the conversations that took place behind closed doors, is, is the stories true or false? Pan, the stories is absolutely true. We had a scientist here um, by the name of Dr. X and he was a scientist that worked out the route for the hot air balloons uh, so that they could reach the floating islands of Pandora safely. Major Clark, did I hear 
Sergeant Brown correctly, did he say that so that the people could reach the islands of Pandora safely? I mean, how do we know that they've reached the island safely? Um, are we just hope that they've reached the island safely or don't care if they reach it safely or not? Or do you know something that we don't know? Grumpy Sergeant Brown uh, speak the truth. The whole idea of bringing in a scientist was to make sure that the trip is safe, otherwise we wouldn't dare to authorize it. But it was a risk, everybody knew it was a risk. And they also went on this expedition at their own risk. But what we know is that two hours after the hot air balloons uh, had disappeared, uh, the scientist uh, Dr. X received a message um, telling him that everybody has reached the islands safely but that the batteries is flat and that they have no way of charging it and that's why we can't communicate with him anymore so we need someone to go there to take equipment with you solar charges uh, so that it's always possible for the people on uh, the floating islands of Pandora to make contact with us. But uh, Sergeant Brown, something that I don't understand is why didn't they take enough supplies with them I mean, if I go to a strange place, the first thing that I will make sure that is working is the radios. Because if you don't have communication, you will be cut off and in deep trouble. Well, Pan, I couldn't agree with you more. Well, the thing is, they did take a lot of supplies with them. They had everything that they need. But the vortex is vicious. It ripped the baskets and the balloons apart. They barely made it safely to the other side. And that is the reason why they don't have any equipment. So we need to find a way of getting the supplies and equipment safely to the floating islands of Pandora. Well, Grumpy and Pan, this is where you two come in. We need two brave adventurers to go and take the supplies through to the floating islands of Pandora. Firstly, we want you to go and speak uh, to the scientist, Dr. X, so that he can give you a briefing on exactly what you need. After that, you can start to collect your supplies and then we need to look at more modern and better hot air balloons to make sure that you can get yourself safely and the equipment to the floating islands of Pandora. So, what do you say? Well, I'm definitely in. Our friends on the other side need us. They have no chance of survival without our help. So you can depend on me. I will do my best. The trip to Pandora is pretty much a one-way street. Once you go there, you can never come back. My mission will be to go there and to come back. So I want to find a way, another way of getting back to my own planet here. So of course you can count me in. I'm in with you all the way. Thank you very much Grumpy and Pan. 
Um, I'm very glad that you agreed to help us and to help our planet and the people that are stranded on the floating islands of Pandora. If you need anything, just ask. I will do my best to help you as far as possible. Thank you. Well, um, all I can say is that I am very proud to be in a team with Sergeant Brown, Pan and Grumpy and Dr. X. I think together we can pull off this rescue mission. Of course, the most dangerous part uh, is coming in where Pan and Grumpy is going to leave us. And yes, it's true, we may never see them again. But maybe the life on Pandora might be very interesting. Maybe even much better than here. But I really hope that Pan will find a way for you to come back because it always feels better when you can return to a place otherwise you can feel trapped so all of the best if you need anything just ask we will help and uh, good luck <laughs> It's Kitty King Life, and I'm Kitty King. Today is a wonderful day because we got great news for you. All the rumors are true. The scientist that met the police at the office was Dr. X. He helped with the planning of the expedition that went to the floating islands of Pandora and is also going to help with the planning of the rescue mission. Two hours after the hot air balloons had disappeared, Dr. X received a message from the crew saying that they are all safe but that the balloons and baskets as well as the equipment um, had been destroyed. So they won't be able to contact us, us anymore because the batteries are flat. So we need to send now a rescue miss mission to the islands of Pandora. And we have more great news. We found two excellent volunteers, two adventurers and scientists, um, Grumpy Duck and Pan Panda. They will go on this mission and take supplies um, through to the stranded people on the floating islands of Pandora. It's a very dangerous trip, we know. Once you're in, you can never get out. But Pan Panda say his mission is going to be to find a way back. Doesn't matter how long it takes. Good luck to everyone who's involved in this mission. Oh, <laughs> oh,